what is your favorite Chanel fragrance? Leave it in the comment section below. I love to know. And if you love Chanel and you're a huge Chanel lover, just leave a red heart. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you are returning, welcome back and thank you so much. Today I'm sharing with you some of my best purchases from Chanel. These are all fragrance related. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm going in no particular order. You guys, I will leave all of these in the description box below. So if you want to take a look at any of them, you want to see the notes, if you might want to pick some of them up for yourself, I'll leave all the information in the description box below. So let's start with this one. I absolutely love this. I was in the uh, Chanel boutique. I was at a new area actually I was visiting during Christmas and I went in and I had seen this online and I was like, do you really me that tree I mean come on you have so many different fragrances and different you know body mists and different body oils and different body lotions and body cropes that already have this in it I always told you guys I love Chanel number no. five but I do not like the ED perfume I don't even know if there's the ED toilette but whatever I don't like that one because it's just too much it's just I want to have it so bad because I just feel like it's a piece that's missing in my Chanel collection but I don't like the fragrance and I know I would never use it so I don't really want to buy it so I've been like you know getting Chanel number no. five low I'm like okay but you know there's something about the Chanel number no. five original that I really wanted when this came out and I went into the store and I was able to smell it you guys it smells so good and it smells just like Chanel number no. five but hear me out not as loud, not as strong, not as aldehyde not as, not old, but not as, you know, that stench to it. It doesn't have that, but it definitely is Chanel number no. five. Of course it's sparkly and it's shiny and you have to dip it out like this and then you rub a little bit on and it's like more of a gel versus an oil. So you don't have to worry about it staining your clothes or getting oil and it dries down very fast. It's a very dry body gel and it's very fragrant -y. So it smells like Chanel number no. five but it's not as strong as Chanel number no. 5. It's a more of a sparkling body gel is what they call it. And I absolutely love it. So I was super excited to add this to my Chanel collection. I move on because you know I could talk about Chanel all day, every day. Another one, this is Sean's Chanel. I had this before years ago and I don't know why I didn't replace it. I just didn't. So however, I got on my Chanel beauty kick. I told you guys if you have not heard, Chanel has the best beauty online experience. I am an experienced girl. I am all about an experience. Watch some of my videos back. I will leave like a, you know, unboxing to one of these so that you can see if you're not familiar. Chanel Beauty comes with beautiful packaging, generally has free shipping. Um, they always offer you a couple of samples of anything that you want to try, whether it be makeup or fragrance, even if you wanted to, you know, get a fragrance for a guy, like if your boo, your bae, whoever, you wanted them to try one. If you do want them to try one, have them try Chanel ED Blue Puff. It is amazing for the guys. I love it on my guy. But back to Chanel Chance. This fragrance is amazing. I needed this in my collection. Did you need this? No, you wanted it. I needed it, you guys. You know how we are. We need it, right? It's really a good, oh my gosh. It has some patchouli in it. Patchouli is another one of my favorite. Patchouli, tube rose, uh, black currant, vanilla, sandal. I mean, I love, okay, hello, she loves fragrance, okay? But this has a little bit of that in it. The longevity on it is good. This is a fragrance that I would wear to church. I would wear to brunch. I would wear out. Would it be a date night? Maybe for a first or second or third date, but if I was trying to be sexy and go in for a beast mode and like totally be there, this is not something I would choose, but it's definitely work appropriate if you weren't working in close quarters because I wouldn't say it's strong, but it definitely has a presence. The projection is there. Like I said, longevity is there. It definitely holds to the body. It stays on the clothes. It's a really nice, good, elegant, classy, sophisticated fragrance, but not old. Modern woman, okay? Think modern woman. That is Chanel Chance. Chance Chanel. All right, I'm moving on. I'm not gonna stay long on these. I spoke about this one the other day on the channel. It was a part of my Cuffin Season fragrances. If you have not watched that video, you guys, not even trying to toot my own horn, but I'm tooting my own horn. It was so fun. I watched it, I, and I had so much fun making it, so I know it was fun, but I watched it with my guy, because he was watching it, and he was like, let me see what you were saying. And he was watching it, and we were watching it together, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so hilarious. It's a complete story time. So if you like story time videos, you know, videos that paint a picture, create a vibe, tell a story, check that out. 
This is Coco Mademoiselle, and it smells just like Coco Mademoiselle. To me, it is more amplified, it is more intense, it's definitely more sexy, it has a little bit more of an oomph to it. This I would wear on date night, and I would wear it, and consider it to be very, very sexy. I like this one. Here's another one that I wanted to go with. I added this to my collection. I've always gone in uh, Chanel Boutique and I've always smelt this and I've always like, oh my God, I should get it. But I didn't really know where to place it at in my life. And I mentioned in a video back, I am not a perfume collector. I am a perfume lover. So I generally like to buy perfumes that I really love or, you know, that are body crops or body oils or whatever that I really love and I know I'm going to use. I don't want anything in my collection that I'm not reaching for that I'm not utilizing that's just a waste of space and it's a waste of my time if I buy it I want to wear it so I didn't have a place before when I was smelling this as I became to get a little bit more of um you know I, I don't want to say a perfume connoisseur but as I became a little bit more familiar with what type of fragrances I like and that all of my fragrances I want them to send me someplace different I didn't have a place particularly in my fragrance collection that sent me here this is a formal woman to me this is a woman that's classy she's sophisticated she's elegant she could be working on Wall Street she could be um, a boss she can be like just that woman you know what I mean I think of a very confident strong you know well put together type woman when I think of Coco Edie Parfume Chanel. That's that woman, a refined woman, a polished woman, and just a classy, a class act. I can't say enough about it. I love, of course I love it. That's why I bought it, but I love this fragrance, you guys. Um, whole detailed review on this fragrance on the channel. Another one, these ones here that I'm gonna talk about now are in addition to a fragrance. I am the type of person that I like to layer fragrance, especially if I love it, especially if I know a fragrance is going to be on me all day and I'm gonna be wearing it for a long day. Sundays are my long day. I typically get up, I get dressed, we'll go to church, and then after church we'll generally go to brunch after brunch we'll go someplace else we might end up doing a little light shopping we might do a dunch and do a date night as well so Sunday I go hard and I go all day I need my fragrance to be able to go hard and go with me I like to wear something depending on what type of Sunday I'm having um, a little lighter a little bit airy because like I said I'm wearing it to church and when I wear it to church I'm sitting in close quarters I have been known to come home and switch up my fragrance though or add on to a fragrance so so generally, I like to start with layering. A nice shower, I generally will wear the body cropes, you know, and this is one that I added to my collection. This one here is the Coco Noir body cropes. Coco Noir is my favorite date night scent. This is hot, this is heavy, this is sexy. This has got some patchouli in it as well. This is more of a, does this have patchouli in it? Am I making this up? It's balsamic, it's warm, it's spicy, it's sexy, it's a little woody. Like I said, it's an oriental fragrance and I love this so I would start with this I would layer this put it all over me and then I would take the fragrance and spray that as well I'm just now finding out that they have a hair mist so you don't have to go on and order that so stay tuned for that and then that way your fragrance just lasts all day and whatever way you move or you turn or whatever you do you just smell good you smell like a vibe you smell like a mood and I really love this one it's a very sensual one I find it very date appropriate I definitely love wearing this one on date nights so I added this to my uh, fragrance collection and in case you don't know you guys here are two more I am a huge fragrance lover of even perfume for the hair yes I do need a perfume for the hair this one here is I, I got this here recently this is actually a body velvet oil so in addition to layering yourself with the body cropes sometimes you can get out and you could still be kind of damp this works really good you can still be kind of damp you want your body to be very like damp like where your pores are still open and you just open this up here I believe I shared this on the channel before I can't recall you just do this and you just blot it on and what I like about it is it's a dry type oh my god girl you are going in on that oh my goodness and I love how nice and luxurious and shiny and sparkly it leaves it but it's not greasy i oftentimes tell you oh i needed that lotion i was so dry you find you get so dry in the winter months when it gets cold let me take these rings off and add some moisture i was so dry mm. 
but anyhow this just goes on and it doesn't stay greasy it's fast absorbent I mentioned in a video back it's not like Johnson and Johnson's baby oil remember back in the day they would put it out they would top the pink cap off and start shining it everywhere it's not one of those you see that after that it just gives a nice luxurious shine and you smell fabulous, darling. You smell amazing, and that's what that offers. So I do up it a little bit by putting a body crops on or body oil, and this is set to be a pure velvet body oil. Very dry, you see that? Not even there, it gives you a little shine, but totally can rub this on my clothes and it's not like gonna leave a big grease stain. Okay, I move on. Back to the hair mist. This is a hair mist, you guys. This is a Chanel number no. five, and this is the hair mist, and I love this. I always like to have my hair um, I'm the kind of girl that I love long hair. I've tried short hair before, well not short, but I did cut my hair into a bob. It was cute, but it just wasn't me. I'm that girl I figure out that I like to do this. You know what I mean? A hair tassel, a hair flip. I wear my hair down. Check my nails. Okay, no, no, no. Anyways, I'm that girl. I want to do a hair flip, a hair toss, whatever. And I love to do that, and my hair smells amazing. And this here, you just would mist in your hair. You know, you wouldn't really go in and spray your hair like that. You just put it, or I have seen people take their hairbrush or their hair comb and have done a spray in that and then have run their fingers through it like that as well so that's something you can do as well that just every time you turn every time you move I want to smell good I like to smell good at home I like to smell good when I go out I like to smell good going to the gym going to the grocery store I use fragrance in every area of my life no matter where I'm going so those are the best fragrances that I purchased from Chanel in 2019 that I've added to my collection like I said some of them I had some of them are repeats I absolutely love all of them I'm gonna go back on Chanel Beauty online and I'm probably gonna order the hair mist for this particular one because I absolutely love it I typically wear this fall and winter to me I find it to be a little too heavy for spring and summer so you guys I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below I have a question for you if you are a Chanel lover what is your favorite Chanel fragrance thank you guys so much for stopping by taking the time to watch my videos it never goes unnoticed I read all of your comments and you guys are just so like amazing in the comment section I love chatting and talking back to you so leave your comments in the comment section below leave your favorite Chanel fragrance if you're a Chanel lover leave a red heart with it and I will see you guys in the next video until next time you know the drill wait a minute if you have not hit the subscribe button yet and you've enjoyed the vibe go ahead and smash the subscribe button okay until next time guys you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous thanks for watching guys bye